What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm quite excited because I went to my P.O. box and I got a lot of boxes in and I got a lot of cool boxes in as you can see with this one behind me and this one right here. But in this video we're going to be unboxing the 2018 April Disney Treasures box. I just kind of made myself a little bit sad because this is going to be the last Disney Treasures box that we receive in the mail. I think starting in the fall, this box will go to, where is it going? Hot Topic. I want to say summer or fall. I don't actually know when it's going to start, but you guys know that the Funko Collab boxes are going to be heading to retail stores, and uh, Disney Treasures is going to Hot Topic. So I'm okay with that because I do live around Hot Topics, and usually getting things online on the Hot Topic website is pretty straightforward. So. I'm okay with it, it's not too bad. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what this box, this very last subscription box entails. This is for 2018 April and the theme is adventure. Can you see it, the little sticker? Yeah. I feel like the camera's really far away or maybe I'm really far away from the camera. How about now? That's a little bit better. All right, let's do this. Once you, oh, I forgot to say, if you're interested in getting this box, well, you'll have to keep an eye out at Hot Topic because you can't get it anymore. Actually, I don't know if you can go on the Funko website and sometimes they sell the old boxes. So potentially, if you like this specific box, you might be able to get it on their website. I don't know if it's sold out or not, to be honest. I can't remember. It might have sold out. I don't know. I'll link everything down below for you and if it's available, you can check it out. If not, then I apologize. All right, once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. And I hope... Patch and pin, patch and pin, is it a patch and pin? <gasps> you guys, is it? I feel this thing is not connected. Is it connected? No, it's not connected. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin. Woohoo! Okay, I am so excited. The box smells a little bit interesting, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and pin. Some people don't like that song. It's so interesting to me. How can you not like that song? It's so good. It's just, such, especially the way that I sing it, it's amazing. It's just so great. I'm just kidding for those of you. Hopefully you guys aren't taking me seriously when I do things like that. Anyways, the first item we have is a pin of Robin Hood. Can you guys see it? Standard classic Disney treasures pin Pretty small, but that's usually how how it goes with them and then we got a Peter Pan patch I am so excited that they went old school and like old school where they put the patch and pin on the box because To end it like that. I'm a fan of that. I am totally a fan of that I need to go through all of my Disney treasure boxes and pull out all of my patches to see if they really did like connect to form a circle or whatever it is that they were supposed to do. I don't remember exactly. Okay, here we go. Once we open up this little flap, this is what you're going to see. Whoa. Okay, that's ginormous. It's like gigantinormous. I try to put this Pikachu thing here so that you guys can see the box. Can you see the box? Yeah, you can see the box. All right, what do we have? Oh, cool, the first one we have is a luggage tag of Stitch. Ohana, Ohana means family. Look at that, look at that. That is a cool little luggage tag. It's like rubber. Um, it's not like rubber, it is rubber. So it's just a little like, you know, like what the, when you get an ID badge and it has a little like rubbery like things. I don't know. What's, what am I talking about right now? Next we got a little adventure sticker. They always do that. And the last item before the big item. It's okay. So something from the Incredibles. I'm assuming we've been getting our mystery minis in this, but this doesn't say mystery minis. It says vinyl figure, but they're basically like mystery minis, right? They just come in these cool tin, tin cans. So let's see which character we got. Oh my gosh, I love, I really do enjoy these tin cans. Actually, let me take the plastic off first and see it. Okay, so this represents The Incredibles 2. And I see some Frozone, I see Dash. Dash is my favorite Incredible. Jack, Jack, Violet, Lester Girl, and Mr. Incredible. All right, let's see what we got. I don't know, is it like, 
We've got somebody who's standing like this. That's all I can feel. I don't know if ever. Usually in these boxes, everyone gets the same one, so I don't know who it is going to be. Oh, we got Elastigirl. Ooh. I would have preferred Dash. Again, Dash is my favorite character. So here is Mrs. Incredible. Does she, does she not go by Elastigirl anymore? I don't know. That's what I call her. It's pretty cool. It's it's your standard, you know, mystery mini. I consider this a mystery mini. This is exactly what mystery minis are and should be like. Um, they've been changing throughout the years, but I do enjoy this. And I do, they did come out with, did they come out with an Incredibles? I think they, did they? Is there an Incredibles mystery mini line? I don't remember. But I think potentially. You know what I'm thinking is, you know, I've been collecting a lot more pops lately, of course. As you can see, uh, this isn't even all my pops, obviously. This is, I'm at my parents' house still. But I really do love mystery minis. And I think I might... It's just hard because they're like $8. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to pay $8 for a mystery mini, I might as well just pay, you know, pay like... 9 or $10 for a Funko Pop. That's how my mind works. Like, I might as well get more bang for my buck, right? But I do enjoy Mystery Minis a lot. And this one's really cool. And I love the tin cans. That's one of the things I hope they continue to do with this box, uh, even when it goes into retails, because they've been, with the Disney Treasures box, they've been giving us a lot of Mystery Minis in the tin cans, and I've loved them. They're so cool. So I'm a fan of that. And the last item we have is our Pop and it's a pop ride. It's so big. It's from the Rescuers. Let's show you guys. Can you guys see it? I'll take it out of the box because I know the glare is not good. So this is Orville with Miss Bianca and Bernard. I did not watch the Rescuers. You know what's weird? It's, I guess it's not that weird. I love Disney. I really do and I love Disneyland but you know thinking back now I really didn't like too many like the Disney animated movies, they were kind of scary. They kind of scared me to be 100% honest. So like, I was never really a fan of like Cinderella and Snow White and I, I mean, I just wasn't a princess fan in general when I was younger. I didn't start really liking Disney movies until Pocahontas came out. I think that was the first, Pocahontas or Lion King, I don't know what came out first. Those two movies were the, the two movies that made me really like love Disney and then when Mulan came out I was like oh my god. And then when Disney joined with Pixar I was like such a fan. But I wasn't a huge like, I don't know, there was a lot of uh, Disney movies that I just wasn't really a fan of. But this is from The Rescuers so I don't really know anything about them. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. Now, I don't mind getting pop rides in this box. And to be 100% honest, Funko probably should continue doing that because I I do think people buy these in the store, but they're really not as popular. I wouldn't I usually don't choose to buy Funko rides from the store or pop rides, not Funko rides, pop rides. Just because they're so big and they're really hard to store and they're they're always so expensive at the stores. So, it actually makes sense if they were to like I mean, I don't want them to because I like getting regular, like, exclusive Funko Pops, like, regular size Funko Pops from these boxes. But it does make sense for them to give us more, like, things like this because I feel like these things are things that have good value, but they're not necessarily stuff that people would <clears throat> automatically go to buy at the store, you know? Well, this thing is ginormous. This thing is so big. Oh, you even have to put his wing on because he's so big. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say about this. First of all, it's cool. I like it, I like that we got this really big thing. If I stick this in, am I not gonna be able to pull it back out? Is that what this is gonna happen? I'm not gonna stick it all the way in because I don't wanna accidentally pop it in and I can't take it out. Okay, so let me show this to you first so you can see it and then we'll talk about it because I do have some comments to make about it. Now, I haven't, like I said, I don't purchase a lot of pop rides and when I have received them in boxes, I don't know how how much I've actually taken them out of the box like this. But you have Orville right here, who is this this handsome gentleman. And then you have Miss Bianca and Bernard riding in him. So like I said, this one came off, so you have to pop it in. And it comes with a stand, which is very nice. So can we make some comments about this? Now, I think this is cool. and. The one comment I'm going to make about this, and, and the only reason I can tell is because when I took the wing off, I can feel it. It's interesting because, you know, this is supposed to be a vinyl figure, but the wings and the body, these are made out of plastic. I, 
I'm sure vinyl technically is considered plastic, but this is made out of like plastic plastic, like the same plastic that the face is made out of and not your regular vinyl material that like the head that you can see the head. The head is made out of the normal pop material, right? I think I'm pretty sure as are these peeps right here, but the, but the bird body and the feet and the wings themselves are made out of plastic. Um, nothing against that. I don't have anything against that. It just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I just feel like I, maybe it's just because I'm so used to the certain material that, that Funko Pops are always made out of. Same thing with my pork, my leaning pork. I know you guys make comments about my pork. I, I love reading the comments about the pork. And yes, I feel like he might be tilting more and more each day. I don't, I can't really tell. But anyways, you know, I'm so used to this, this certain material that Funko Pops are normally made out of. So it's kind of throwing me off that half of this guy is just a regular hard plastic. I guess to, in my mind, which it's not true, it's not true at all, but I feel like when it's made out of regular plastic, it's like not as good quality because you know, cheap toys are made out of regular plastic, but I'm sure vinyl, the, the material that vinyl pops are made out of, Funko pops are made out of is probably not, you know, it's probably cheap too. I, I don't really know. Anyways, I just wanted to point it out that half of this, it's, it's made out of different material. Half of it's regular plastic, hard plastic, and half of it is normal Funko pop plastic. Doesn't it kind of look like my porg is trying to drink my tea right there? Whoa, how do I do this with my hand? Oh, right here. Doesn't the pork look like he's trying to drink my tea a little bit? Okay, that is all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap, shall we? First item we have is our, I'm gonna call it a mystery mini in our tin can. I don't remember how much I've been giving this, but mystery minis usually get six dollars but I think you can easily give this seven because it came in the tin can and honestly I think you could probably give it more because it's an exclusive to this box. We're gonna go ahead and give it seven fifty. I think that's fair, maybe eight, you know. We have our patch and pin. Patches usually get three pins. Um, I'll give this one four. It's a little bit small. We have our stitch. We have our, oh geez. Okay. We have our stitch um, luggage tag. This is a cool little luggage tag. I think you could give this anywhere from four to five dollars. I wish the packaging was a little bit better because it just came in a little baggy. That would definitely increase the value. But why don't we go ahead and give it four fifty? We'll go in between. And then the last item we had was our Orville um, pop rides from the rescuers, which is right over here. Actually, sorry. Um, really big pop. It's giant. Uh, these pops usually are about 20, 20, 20, five dollars okay sometimes they can go to thirty dollars i would say thirty is the max that i would give this but you know let's just let's just just for 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 kicks and giggles i almost said something different but for kicks and giggles kicks i'm saying kicks for kicks and giggles let's look up what this is going for on ebay it's so crazy to me that people are uh, it's just the amount that this is. So okay, so this is actually pretty pretty good to see. I can look at what has been actually sold. I can tell based off of what people are selling it for now. Oh wow. Okay, so the box, the entire box itself has been sold for fifty-five dollars, sixty-five dollars plus almost twenty dollars shipping. The actual pop rides was sold for forty-five dollars plus thirteen dollars shipping, fifty plus fifteen dollars shipping. Um, a lot of these are best offers, forty-four. Okay, so. That's, I mean, it's a, it's a decent understanding, so maybe around $50, but what I would like to look at is what it's selling for now, because I see a lot on, like, available that aren't that high, and no one's, like, bidding for them. So, you know, there's one that's going for $20 with $10 shipping, there's no bids. There is six days left, so that's kind of a long time. Oh, here's a good one. Somebody, there, somebody has the box on sale for $38 with $13 shipping, and there's 27 bids. Okay. I would say that you could easily give this thing $30. It has sold for more, but I think it's also because this box literally just came out. I think it just came out, or am I late with this? Maybe I'm late with it, I don't know. But I think as the days go on, the prices will start to drop as more and more people get the box. Not scalpers or flippers, but you know, I know there's a lot of people who buy these boxes and they're like, oh, I don't really have any interest in this pops, so and then they go and sell it just to get their money back. You know, it totally makes sense. I'm not that cool. But I think we can easily give this $30. I'm going to be nice and give it $30 with the assumption that you probably could give it maybe $10 more. I think $40 would be the most that I would 
I would give this. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $39, and we paid $32 a box, which means that we got $17 extra value on top of what we paid for it, which for a $32 box, that's great. We're looking for $10. This box, it, it never fails to get its extra value. It just definitely has gotten less extra value than it used to get when the box first came out, but that's understandable, especially with the new transitions that are about to happen with this box. I totally get it. Like, why are they going to give us a box that has, you know, $40 extra value when they're about to go into retail stores, like that's going to be an expectation that they're, they're going to have to like keep up. So I get why they've been slowly kind of um, dwindling that extra value, but I don't mind. And like I said, the Funko Collab boxes have always given me extra value and great products. So I'm okay with that. Okay. There was a couple Funko Collab boxes, like a couple months where they weren't like the best, but you know, it happened. If I had to rate this box, I would probably, for me personally, I would probably give this box a 4.25 out of 5 noobs. I do like this, um, this pop rise just because it's like giant, but like in the back of my mind, I'm like, what am I going to do with this thing? It's like giant. Like, where am I going to put it? Is this something that I really want to keep? You know, I've been trying to be a little bit more picky about my collection and what I'm collecting because... If not, I'm going to run out of space. I'm going to become, I'm already a hoarder, but I'm going to become an ultimate hoarder, and it's going to be bad. So, for me personally, I'd say 4.25 out of 5 noobs. My favorite item in the box is definitely the Funko Mystery Mini of The Incredibles, because I love The Incredibles. And I also like the Stitch Luggage Tag, and I like that they gave me a patch and pin for the very last time, just so I could sing the patch and pin song. So, I appreciate that. But if you liked all the items in the box, you can easily give this box a 5. There's no question about that. You know, it has good value, it has good items. It's, it's a good box, but for me personally, I'm going to do 4.25 out of 5 noobs. And just just for kicks and giggles, we're going to sing the Patch and Pin song one more time. So for those of you who love that song, sing it with me. You guys ready? Should I get the Patch and Pin out? Does it make it more fun? Maybe the Marvel Collector Core box gave us a Patch and Pin. I'm not quite sure, but here we go. Ready? Patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin. My singing voice ever since the accident happened is not as good, but hopefully you enjoyed that rendition. All right, guys, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. For the last Disney Treasures box, are you excited? Are you disappointed? What are your feelings about the box going to Hot Topic? Um, I am going to do an extra video about the Funko Collab boxes, uh, I don't know, at some point to talk about it because I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about pros and cons of what they're doing because I think I can figure out the pros and cons. Um, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below or share your theories or just do whatever you want to do. You can just do it. You can, you can comment whatever you want to comment down below. Who am I to tell you what to comment? If you want to comment that you like puppies, then you go for it. But yes, let me know. Let me know if you like the box or not. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or sent to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Just a disclaimer for those of you who are newly subscribed, I am a little bit behind on my thank you to subscribers pages. I have about well, I don't know, but just be patient and you will eventually be on there as long as you're as long as your subscriptions are not blocked or set to private. If they are, then you will not be on there. So just disclaimer. Uh, and before we go, we must do the video shout out. I'm going to do a, a regular shout out, but I'm also going to do a pre pre shout out because um, a few videos back, I did a video shout out for a, a gentleman named Daniel, Daniel and Daniel had told me that his daughter uh, watched my videos, and so I kind of gave a shout out to him and his daughter, but she, he, he finally actually commented her name. So I wanna give a, a big shout out to Abby, and Abby, I wanna say a big happy birthday to you. Today is your birthday, I think. I'm pretty sure today's your birthday, or it's like somewhere around here, but Abby, I hope that you have an amazing birthday, and thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it, and yeah, just big, big birthday shout out to Abby, whoa. Um, but let's do, now let's do our actual, uh, video shout out, which is going to go to, alright, I, I know who I'm going to give it to. This person just recently watched a ton of my videos with T, T Money, which, by the way, 
I haven't seen Tina in a little bit, but I'll make sure I'm gonna call her and we're gonna have to film a video soon because I know you guys are missing some tea action on this channel, so I totally get it. Uh, but today's video shout out is gonna go to, and I'm gonna say it how it's, I think, meant to be said, even though this is not how you spell it, but um, Sweet Geek! Sweet geek, but instead of the E, you used the number three, which is very, very, I, I love that. It's very, um, what is the word for that? I forgot. I don't know, but it's, it's very uh, creative. I don't know. That's not the word I was thinking of, but we're going to go with it. Sweet geek, you get the video shout out. Hold on. Sweet geek, um, my, my mom is just like walking up and down the stairs, I don't know what's happening. Sweet Geek, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. You have been going back and watching a lot of my old videos and commenting on all of them. And I just want to say thank you. I love reading your comments. I love when new people like, <laughs> they find the videos with T and like, these are hilarious because they are really funny. Some of my funniest videos are the videos I did with T. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, commenting and supporting my channel. And thanks so much for sticking around and joining me on this awesome YouTube journey. Sweet Geek, you get the video shout out shout out to you sweet geek shout out to you i just saw how long this video was and it's because i'm rambling the whole time but all right guys i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you guys next time bye